up everybody this is your boy prime chuck around checking in on the channel man checking in to talk about today um a list of things that will get you rejected at prime inc okay so we're gonna talk about that but before i go and come back on the channel what i'm gonna need you to do is like this video subscribe to my channel and once you subscribe hit that bell button and when you see the bell button with it says all i don't know what, i don't know what it all is says but when you see it, press all on the bell notification. So when I post videos, you'll know what I post them. So stay tuned. We're gonna talk about reasons why to get why you would get rejected at Prime. I'll be right back at you. Hey. Alright, so we're gonna talk about a couple of things, a couple of jobs down today on reasons why you would get uh, rejected at Prime. Reason number one, and I will tell everybody reason number one. Reason number one, you will get rejected. I was gonna say fired, but I mean, it's fired too. But you know, reason number one why you would get rejected from Prime Inc. Drugs. You will be drug tested before you even come to Prime before orientation. You will be drug tested even if you did come to Prime, you're at Prime, you drive in, you will get drug tested randomly at Prime Inc. Reason being why I say you will get drug tested randomly while being at Prime Inc. I joined Prime almost a year and six months ago. Um, started driving solo in December. I could, I started driving solo, I think December the 20th. Yep, I started driving solo December the 20th. I kid you not, I think it was like, January the 3rd, I was at a terminal and I had to take a piss test, okay? Prime will randomly drug you um, and uh, you have to take a drug test even before you start, even before you can come to Prime for orientation, you will have to take a drug test. So I will tell any of this, I will tell this to any of y'all, if you have a history of smoking weed, please do not come, please do not waste your time. I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want you to get embarrassed like that. And don't even try to just, just to be on the safe side. When you first do take your drug test, I think you do it at home now because you have to get your permit before you even come to prime now. But when you first take your drug test, please do not ask somebody for pee and use their pee. Because like I said, you might use their pee, whatever you might pass, but just know you come to prime you will randomly get drug tested. With that being said, they can drug test you on your weakest day and you wouldn't even know it. You ain't got no piss from nobody. You send in your truck and they're gonna drug test you. If you fail that drug test, you out of here, over. out of here. So that's reason why, that's reason, reason number two, why you'll get rejected at prime is because of your permit test. You have to take four sections of your permit test. That's general knowledge, air brakes, combination, and taste. You have to take those four even to get your permit. So you have to pass your permit test even to come to Prime. You gotta have your permits from your home state even before you come to Prime. So um, if you really do wanna to come to Prime, I advise you to study. Even before you think about coming to Prime, even before you think about coming to prime and you think you want to get your cdl and not be prime study these four sections study general knowledge air brakes combination and tanker please study those it's easy so study those if you pass reason number three reason number three yes sir reason number three why you would get rejected at prime is because um background checks Prime strictly does a background check. If you have anything on your record as far as a criminal history, criminal charge or any charges on your background, I'm not sure. I need to look deeper into that depth. I don't know how long Prime will take those before. Prime will have to, those will be on your background check before they decide to take you. But I know if you, if you don't have a good background check, um, Prime will fire you for, I mean, why do I keep saying fire? Prime will reject you for that. I mean, I'm saying fire too, but they will find it up front as, as they do your background check. Just know, they'll find it up front before they do your background check. Reason number three, no, 
four. Reason number four why you get rejected at Prime. Your license. If you have your license, but you don't have them more than one year, Prime will not hire you. I think you have to have a minimum of one year with a license before you even before you can even come to Prime or get your permit. You have to have one year with your license. So reason number five would be to me, 21. You have to be 21 years or older to come to Prime. You can't be 20 and a half. You can't be 19. You can't be seven. You gotta be 21 years old to come to Prime. So yeah, I, I think I did an application with Prime when I was 20. But I was told I would have to wait till I'm 21. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> My man, John. John, I got a question for you. Huh? While I'm in the process of making this YouTube video. Huh? What? How would you rate your experience here at Prime? Uh, I'd say a 12 out of 10. A 12 out of 10? Yeah. Why are you saying a 12 out of 10? Can you share? Why is it 12 out of 10? Have you been liking your experience at Prime so far? Yeah. Great company? Right company. Right company? You oh, call yeah. it right company instead of great company. It's the right company. I like that. What'd you get in there at um, Arby's? Fish sandwich. Fish sandwich, y'all. John went to Arby's and got a fish sandwich. I guess John like Arby's fish sandwich. What they have in there, on the, they, so they only have wings. They ain't doing pot roast? I don't know if they're not doing it, but I didn't see it up, up there. Huh? I don't know if they're not doing it, but I didn't see any. Okay. Well, John, you enjoy your food. I just want to see. That's my student, y'all. John, say hey to YouTube. John, I said say hey to YouTube. So you... I'm not sure. Reason number five is... I just lost track. I really just lost track. How about that? John up there eating without me. I need my hand sanitizer. I just lit my fingers. Anyways, reason I think I'm at reason number six. I had lost track due to John coming in here with that delicious smelling food, but it's okay. Uh, look at you. Appreciate that, John. Appreciate that. Go ahead and put this on right quick. Yes. Yes. Oh, by the way, um, <clears throat> to stop the video for a minute, John had brought this delicious smelling sunshine and lemons. Let me focus. Focus. Hello. Hello. There you go. Sunshine and lemons uh, bath and body works hand sanitized fragrance. It smells so good. He said they got it in body wash, which I don't believe it, but... He said they got it in body wash, so I need to try it out. That's probably what I'm gonna do my next video on the body wash. The stuff, the natural stuff John introduced me to, and I'm actually liking it. So, um, but reason number six is your job history. With your job history, you have to have what? Three jobs in one year, right? You can't have more than three jobs in a year. You cannot have more than three jobs in one year. If you have more than three jobs in one year, you will not get hired at Prime, and Prime will not hire you. The Prime will reject you. But, wait, you can't have more than three jobs in one year? Wow, so did not know. Bad sign. That means you, they call it the, uh, what do you call it? Job hopping. You hop from job to job. You can't never keep a job, doggone it. Do the right thing in the job so you can keep a job. And my last and final reason would be DOT physical. What'd you say about that, John? Depending on where you're from, you might like remain in Nevada. Uh, you can't even take the permit test without getting a physical first. Uh-huh. So yeah. What'd you say, John? What'd you say, John? What'd you say, John? What'd you say, John? Depending on the state, like for me, uh -huh. in, in Nevada, uh, before you can even take your permit test, you have to get a physical. You have to get a physical before you take your permit you, test. Before you're even able to take the permit test. Got you. Uh, um, 
President John, I have a question. With that being said, is, just, is it just like that in Nevada or is it actually like that in every state? That's just in Nevada. I don't know about the other states. Okay, so it has to be, you said it has to be what now? From Nevada, it's, you have to get your physical to be able to take your permit test. All right, got it. So in Nevada, you have to have, you got to get your physical even before you take your permit test. I don't think it's like that. I don't know where it's at everywhere else, but that's in Nevada. So with the DOT physical, um, even if you can get your doctor, get your own doctor, do a DOT physical. Make sure you're good as far as the um, um, eye exam, hearing exam. Um, speaking of eye exam, I had a guy who was colorblind and Prime medically fired him he was colorblind he didn't say nothing to nobody but speaking on the speaking on the topic of physical uh prime does test you for sleep apnea reason why reason why i said you get tested for sleep apnea is because i, I i'm not ashamed of saying this but if i kind of larger than charge <laughs> if you're larger than charge john is that how you feel oh you know you're not larger i was gonna come well, I was thinking more <laughs> But John stated, if you're large and in charge, more than likely you will have sleep apnea and you will need a sleep machine. Reason why I'm being saying that because I have a sleep machine. I have sleep, sleep apnea, but it's fine. Really, I, I didn't like the sleep machine at first, but now I really can't even sleep without the sleep machine. I, I need it, I need it. So, um, I can't sleep if you don't use a damn machine. <laughs> you snore like hell. Mama. Anyways, oh, 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 let me fix that right quick. Anyways, to conclude the video, thanks y'all for watching. If it was some helpful tips for me and the boy John, John, mm -hmm. we ain't heard your noise in a long time, man. Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> that concludes the video, man. That concludes the video, but. Uh, if you do come to Prime, if this was helpful to you, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the video, give the video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Um, two more things I want to add. If you have any questions or you want to ask me anything about Prime, call me. No, not call. Uh, no, no. Text me and I will have a time to call you. Text me on my um, business number. <laughs> 417-660-9910. Again, the number is 417-660-9910. But if you do come to Prime and you do an application, if you see this video, refer to me at my driver code. My driver code is Pharaoh. I say Pharaoh because it's not like Pharaoh, but my driver code is actually P-A-R-H-R-W. Again, the driver code is P A R. HRW. Y'all better like this video. Y'all better subscribe to it. Let me find out somebody watch this video and not subscribe to it. I'm coming pulling up on you. I'm just playing. I ain't gonna do y'all like that. But uh, like the video, subscribe, share it. But take it easy. Hopefully this was helpful to some people. Peace.